Hello, uh, my name is Renal Das. Uh, I'm responsible for technical marketing uh, in uh, OnSemi's uh, Power Solutions Group, uh, focused on silicon carbide. Uh, I've been a 30-year veteran in this industry. I've uh, seen it take off from its early beginnings to becoming quite the player it is today. And I'm glad to be here at OnSemi and uh, would like to share with you our silicon carbide wall exhibit. And what this shows is our completely vertically integrated manufacturing. And unlike some of the other suppliers in the industry, our manufacturing begins with the silicon carbide powder itself. It's technically called a granulate, but this is a powder of, of silicon carbide that uh, is the starting uh, part for our manufacturing. And just to compare others in the industry, their starting point is all the way down here, okay? So there are a lot of steps that many in the industry uh, are unable to do, but we have this capability of being able to start at a very simple point. This is a point where it's quite cost-effective and it is also very easy to get, meaning you're pulling this out of the ground rather than having to buy it from someone manufactured. So this is our starting point, it's the powder. It goes into our silicon carbide crystal growth reactor. So this is a furnace, which on one side we have the powder, and on the other side we have what's called a seed crystal. The seed crystal is basically an ultra pure wafer. So when we make all these wafers, We'll take one of the best ones that we have and we use, save those for seeds. So seeds will go in here on the opposite sides from the powder. This entire uh, reactor is then taken to extremely hot temperatures. We are talking temperatures that approach the surface of the sun. Uh, so we're talking you know, 2,500 degrees C, something like that. Really, really hot. So you can imagine this entire system here has to be taken to this temperature and the gradients that exist inside there have to be very well controlled in order to get the crystal quality we need to be able to run it through the rest of our line. So this is what happens in our factory in uh, Hudson, New Hampshire. So they are doing this crystal growth and what comes out of this reactor is this silicon carbide bool. So this bool is, is basically the, uh, the, the product coming out of this furnace. And so this bool, what we have to also do before we can continue its manufacturing is we need to extract the sweet spot of that bool. So this bool you can see is, is not quite perfectly circular. And then also there are areas of it which are both electrically and physically not up to the specifications we need to do uh, power semiconductor manufacturing. So what we do is then we cut out that sweet spot of this bull. And that sweet spot is this uh, silicon carbide puck. So as you can see, it's basically the extracted high quality uh, part of that aforementioned crystal bull. And this is where we can do all of our, uh, our semiconductor manufacturing upon. And uh, for those who know hockey, this looks very much like a puck. Basically, it's an overgrown hockey puck, which is why it's also called a puck in this, uh, in this form as it is today. So this is the output of our factory in uh, Hudson, New Hampshire. And they send this to our factory in the Czech Republic. And in the Czech Republic, what we do is, uh, it's called wafer splitting. We take this puck and we split w uh, individual super thin wafers out of that large puck. So you can see that puck is several centimeters uh, in, uh, in, in the height, or in this, in this case, the width of it. Uh, and then what comes out of it is, is this uh, wafer that I'm showing at the bottom. You can see it's much, much thinner. Uh, so we get many of these coming out of the puck that's uh, shown above. So that, what's called wafering or wafer splitting, that occurs in our factory in the Czech Republic. And then also in the Czech Republic, 
we will grow what's called an epitaxial layer on top of this wafer. What that epitaxial layer does is it does all the electrical activity of the device. It provides the voltage blocking capability. So this thing here is it's just a, a simple resistor. So it can't block anything. It's just going to pass current at whatever resistance it is. But our devices have to be able to pass current and block voltage. So that epitaxial layer is what provides the voltage blocking capability into our structure. That has grown uh, in uh, our site in the Czech Republic. And from there, the wafer will then go to our fab in, uh, in Busan, which is a suburb of Seoul, South Korea. And there we take this blank wafer and we will do all of the processing to create a fully finished MOSFET uh, wafer. And what you're seeing there uh, is a fully finished this is our third generation M3T 1200 volt silicon carbide MOSFET. So that's been fully processed and placed uh, uh, onto the wafer as shown here. That occurs in our fab in Busan, South Korea. And then from there, it will then go to our back end sites. Our back end sites will take that wafer and singulate it, meaning uh, split it into individual dye, and then package those dye into either modules as shown here, and we also have discrete packages uh, as, as well where a single dye would go into. So, uh, and then that package product is then what we can sell to our customers. And we also do have some customers that do their own packaging, and so to them we will sell uh, bare dye, but, uh, uh, a lot of the customers, in order to be able to make their connections of these modules and, and discrete uh, package products into their system, uh, they need it in this type of form factor. And so this is uh, what we provide the, into the industry. And we are quite unique in that we have all of these steps that I just described in-house at OnSemi. And that allows us, obviously, the, the control of supply, giving that assurance of a resilient uh, supply is really uh, re really a strong uh, uh, benefit for us. But on top of that, we have such strong core competencies in each of these steps that we can also drive innovation that will continue the evolution of silicon carbide as it becomes a mainstream player in the power semiconductor market. Thank you for your time. <laughs>